What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we're gonna to show you some of the most picturesque spots in Wales and why you should visit them. Situated towards the west of Great Britain, Wales is renowned for its breathtaking rugged scenery, unique language, and some of the most beautiful beaches the UK has to offer. Our first port of call is Snowdonia National Park. Located in north of Wales, Snowdonia is home to nine mountain ranges and is the third largest national park in the UK. The idea for this trip was for us to stop off at one of the most recognisable mountains in the UK. Triffin is located in the Ogwen Valley and is a classic pointed shaped mountain jutting out overlooking a vast lake below. Triffin stands at over 3,000 feet above sea level, which makes it the 15th highest mountain in Wales. We recommend that you arrive early before the crowds to take advantage of one of the free car parks located at the base of the mountain. Whilst most people hiked up the mountain itself, we walked a path opposite it to get a great view of Triffin and the surrounding valley. It's also a fantastic spot for a hike and a picnic, which is what we chose to do here. But don't forget to take your rubbish with you before you leave this unspoiled area of natural beauty. You can easily see why this is one of the most popular photogenic mountain scenes. I spent a good amount of time with the camera out capturing this amazing scenery. For me, this felt like walking through the set of Lord of the Rings. Next up, we carried on our journey and made our way off mainland Wales onto the island known as Anglesey. Our main purpose for visiting this location was to do a spot of photography at Clamwyn Lighthouse. The only way to get to this island is by foot when the tide is low. Approximately a 40 minute walk through a pine forest and Nubra Beach to get there. We took the beach option. With the views of the incredible Snowdon mountain range in the distance, it makes for a very scenic walk. Upon arrival at Clanwyn Island, you will immediately notice one of the most picturesque lighthouses known as Clanwyn Lighthouse. With a path that snakes up and around the lighthouse, surrounded by rolling sand dunes and rocky outcrops, you can see why this place is an excellent spot for landscape photography.
Don't forget to check out the ruins of the Clanwyn Chapel. The chapel is connected to the Welsh patron saint of lovers, which is the Welsh equivalent of Saint Valentine. You can often find visitors leaving offerings for the saint. So before we carry on with the rest of the video, if you guys have been enjoying it so far and you've got some value out of this, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got loads more videos just like this coming up soon. We then made our way towards the very west of the island, towards a place called Hody Island. We drove through the town's narrow roads to get to the location called South Stack Lighthouse. I get a little bit grip there. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? To get to the lighthouse, there are 400 steps down a cliff to take. Although there are lots of steps, the views of the sea and the cliffs from this vantage point are incredible. Down, Great for those taking those Instagram worthy photos. That's all the flood. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know. This incredible picturesque lighthouse was built in 1809 to help ward off ships from the treacherous rocks in the sea below. It's now a visitor's centre which you can take a guided tour around. Unfortunately, the tours were not on last year during our visit, but they might be back on by the time you book. The cliffs in this area are popular for puffin and seabird nesting, so if you're lucky you may even spot one. But don't worry if you don't catch a glimpse of the puffins, there are designated tours which you can take out to Puffin Island. Heading up north of Anglesey to our final unique location is Porthwen Brickworks, located on the north coast. The walk down to the historical beach can be a bit of a scramble and considered off the beaten track with some parts covered in brambles and slippy underfoot, but once you reach the bottom, it's well worth it for the unbelievable views of this historical site. The derelict Victorian factory closed down during the First World War, briefly reopened and then closed forever around 1949. The beehive kilns are very much still intact and make for some great exploration. However, always be careful when exploring ruins. I'm going to, I'll follow you through the black and the blue. Whatever the area is now used by locals and visitors as a scenic picnic spot. When the tide is out, you will see rock pools, which would usually be hidden by the sea. You'll also notice the Victorians integrated a natural rock arch within the factory grounds, adding further to this unique destination. You say you're afraid. I wish you could see. So that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed watching that as much as we enjoyed filming it. Yeah, and we were quite taken aback with uh, Wales in general. It was just a last minute spontaneous plan for us, so uh, we'd quite happily go back again. And we've got plans yeah. to later on in this year, so yeah. Yeah, look out for that. So hopefully you got some value out of this video and you found your next destination that you want to go to when you're next in Wales. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, give us a massive thumbs up. Uh, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and if you really like the look of our faces and you want to see more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button because we've got loads more coming your way. Uh, so otherwise, hopefully we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace. <coughs> ah. <laughs> Punch the table. Before we carry on with the rest of the video, uh, we hope... <laughs> Before we carry on with the rest of the video, what? My brain just dies, it goes, what's the rest? Anglesey is home to some... 
Anglesey is home to some of the most amazing beaches the UK has to offer. So the first spot we hit was Newburgh Beach. The beach itself is... Do you, do you want to do that again? Yeah, <laughs> Newburgh Beach. <laughs> Pigeon blasting out UK bangers. <coughs> <laughs> Largest national park in the UK. 